welcome back guys so till now we didn't utilized the docker automation uh, automation tools okay so docker having two type of files called docker file and docker compose file so so we go one by one so we go into this video so on the docker file so this is supposed to be i already have docker file it's here right so if, uh, pull this node alpha and image copy the rep repository to application folder so our working directory gonna be in container and working directory gonna be application then make directory logs and npm install and npm install pm2 then npm run start okay now uh, this particular command is gonna run the application gonna run an application okay so this is an automation way of doing it that's why we're going for docker right so all everything we need to automate so if you look at here uh, so it docker docker build dash tag so we like tap so we're gonna take the docker file from locally and we're gonna run this docker build work if you see here right so from node alpha copy the this directory to application folder making the working directory and container as an application uh, then make directory logs npm install and npm install pm2 okay so we're gonna take a while so before that we'll see docker file so this is a docker file from node i told you right from node alpha copy the source directory to application directory to container and make the working directory application as a container in the container and run these commands run make directory logs npm install and npm install pm2 and expose 3200 so the application the double application known our react application gonna be running in port 3200 and expose the port outside first so that externally we can able to map it to some other port to utilize it okay now run npm run start finally run this command this command is gonna run the applic container application this is a, this is a command we're gonna run the redux application okay so npm install is happening npm installing node sas design so we are automating the process last video we done by ourselves right now we are automating the process by a docker file so forget it so now it's gonna install npm install pm2 pm2 is done so next command is running export 3 to double zero and npm then start so that's it so the successfully build the images okay want to check it docker images sudo docker images sorry see it right here react application and gonna be 550 dmb i'm sorry for the size because i'm having npm module inside it right so now the done the application so the docker run it so port gonna be before that check any applications running no nope, right so docker run it interactive port 80 to t to double zero and maps the react app which we get it sorry sorry you see the image so forgot the image name for that application so react app same image name okay react interactively port 80 yes right that's it let's put the image name zero four nine d right you see right <laughs> so it's building in fact is building bundle building the bundle it is done the application is upping uh, it's up so we'll check it go to this back to again this particular folder see it right application is running 
so we will cancel this application and exit it so sudo occur ts because it's not running see it's not running so see the stop application again again the start application sudo docker start a50 that's it now we're going to see application running again right this is how it works so what we done right now we are docker file so from what i'll find copy the source to container of directory app and make the container directory or org directory let's say application directory app directory and run these commands next proceed to the port and run npm run command npm and pm2 that's it so this is a docker file so next video we're going to look into docker compose file thanks for watching guys